Hunch bait is hands down my favorite bait for catching numbers of channel catfish, and it'll even catch blue catfish as well and catch some big fish from time to time. Now, this isn't a bait that I would use to target big catfish. There are certain patterns where it works better for blue catfish than others, but it will slay for channel catfish. If you want to catch numbers of channel catfish, there is no better bait than punch bait. So what is punch bait? Well, punch bait is a cheese-based bait. This is some punch bait right here in a bucket. You've seen me dipping my hooks into that stuff. It's a cheese-based bait. A lot of people would call it a stink bait. Well, the difference between punch bait and dip bait is a punch bait is really, really thick and it sticks to a bare treble hook. So rather than having to use those dip worms or sponges or any of that kind of stuff, you just stick a bare treble hook down in that bait and pull it out and it sticks to that hook. You don't have to use anything else to get it to stay on the hook. And it gets its name from that process that you use to bait the hook. You punch that hook down in the bait and pull it out. That's where the name punch bait comes from. Now I fish this bait primarily for channel catfish, but there are times where it's a very effective bait for blue catfish as well especially if you're fishing around Comorant Roost or Egret Roost. If you're in an area that's holding blue catfish and you put this bait in front of them, they'll bite it. But I like to use this bait primarily for channel catfish. I fish it shallow, up around structure, cover, heavy timber, and then also fish it out deep, either on structure, or around cover, or in open water, fishing vertical, straight up and down. I just posted a video a couple of weeks ago showing that and I've got tons of videos showing me fishing this bait in shallow water up around that cover and structure and it's a way to just slay the channel catfish if you want to catch numbers of fish. So let me show you some of the different ways that I rig to fish this bait. So when I fish punch bait up in shallow water around that cover um, and structure, fishing all up in timber, or willow trees, things like that. I like to use either my secret catfish rig or the other rig that you've seen a lot here on my channel, just a slip bobber rig. I have a 35 pound whisker seeker braided line on there, slip bo uh, a bobber stop, not a slip bobber, that's a bobber stop, and then a slip bobber on the line, and then down below that, just a split shot sinker, and a number six 4X strong treble hook. I cannot hold that hook still, man. Look into my eyes. You want to go fishing. Now that's a super easy way to rig for this punch bait. Again, I'll put links down below. I've got all sorts of videos of me just slaying the channel catfish with this rig fishing punch bait. Now I'm gonna show you the rig that I use when I fish vertical or suspended fish in deeper water. Now when I go out and fish, uh, fishing straight up and down and not fishing below a bobber, typically when I move to water deeper than about eight feet or so, then I'll switch from fishing those slip bobbers or that secret catfish rig to a, what I call a suspend rig for channel catfish. And this is super simple. Again, 35 pound whisker seeker braid that I've got on here. I've got uh, I think this is a quarter ounce egg sinker. I've got a whisker seeker bead on here and then a bobber stop down below that. So that bobber stop and that bead just holds that sinker up, keeps it up away from my hook. And then down here on the business end, I've got that number six, 4X strong treble hook again, baited with punch bait. So I'll lower that down to the bottom and either fish just off the bottom or suspended up in the water column for those channel catfish in that deeper water. Now there's a couple of negatives to this bait. Doesn't matter what brand it is, who makes it. Um, there's a couple of negatives to any kind of punch bait. One is it smells horrible. Uh, if you wanna call it stink bait, you can, uh, but again, it doesn't stink to the catfish, but it smells horrible. Uh, and it's a little tough to deal with sometimes. You get used to it over time. Um, try to stay clean with it. Try not to get it all over your boat. Try to keep it off your clothes and things because it, it's a smell that, that will kind of stick with you. So it stinks. That's definitely a negative. 
The other negative to it is uh, when it gets really hot, um, the bait will kind of get thin and it'll get runny. It's cheese based. It's no different than taking a block of cheese and putting it in the microwave. If you get it really hot, it's going to get soft and runny and gooey. A lot of people complain about that with punch bait and they try all these different off the wall things to try to thin it down or thicken it up or all this, whether they're fishing hot or cold. And it's really simple bait to fish with. Here's the trick. If it's hot outside, cool it off. If it's cold outside, warm it up. What I do is I keep an extra bucket of bait. I cool up both my buckets of bait off in the summer, put them in an ice chest before I start fishing, and I rotate through them during the day. And with one of them starts to get soft and mushy, then I'll put it in the cooler, get the one out of the cooler, and start fishing with it. If you're fishing in the winter and the bait's too thick or uh, you're having trouble getting the hooks to load because the bait is just so firm, the easiest thing to do is just stir it up really good. If that doesn't work, you can put it in front of a heater or something, put it in the floorboard of the car, kind of warm it up a little bit. But 99% of the time, just stirring it up will get that bait to loosen up. It'll be easier to bait those hooks and easier to catch catfish. One of the keys to fishing this bait is to not be stingy. It's cheese based. When you throw it in the water, it's gonna dissolve. Some of it's gonna kind of fall off, but when that happens, that smell helps to attract those catfish and to draw them in. So you wanna make sure that you pull those hooks in every five, 10 minutes or so at the most and rebait them. You wanna make sure you got plenty of bait on there every time you cast it out. And you can even drop that bait down or cast it out and kind of pop that line a couple of times and that will help to get that scent in the water and get it spreading and help draw those fish in and get more fish into that area that you're fishing. Now, one of the questions that a lot of people have asked me in the videos where I'm fishing this punch bait is how to make catfish punch bait. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I've messed around with it some over the years and I will gladly pay the money that it costs to just buy a bucket of bait. I'd rather do that and worry about fishing because my experience has been that I can't make it any cheaper than I can buy it. But I'll tell you this to all of you that have asked me about making punch bait. Um, I know a lot of people in this business that make this bait and um, it's not something that they make quickly. They're very particular about the ingredients that they use, um, certain types of cheeses and certain types of fillers and thickeners and all those things. And, um, they don't just go out and whip up a bucket of bait uh, or a bunch of batches of bait. It's a process that typically takes quite some time. I don't want to share too many details because I don't want to violate uh, the trust of the people that I know that make this stuff. But I will tell you that it's not something that you could just go out and whip up a bucket of punch bait and expect it to hold together. Because if you make it and you go too quickly, you don't go through all the processes and what'll happen is it'll just turn to mush and it'll be watery and it'll be like dip bait. So that's it. Everything you need to know about punch bait for catfish. Now, like I said, I've got tons of videos fishing this bait, fishing different patterns, different techniques. I'll put a link down to those videos and playlists below. I've also got books and all sorts of other resources on catching more and bigger channel catfish on my website. You can check out over at catfishedge.com. And uh, if you've got questions, go down below, leave me a comment. I wanna know if you've ever fished with this bait before and what you think about it. Uh, again, like I said, it's a bait that I've got a lot of confidence in. It's put a lot of fish in my boat over the years. I'll be back next week. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.